Hey guys, Ty here. Hope you're doing well. And I don't know if you just saw, but YouTube creators just released a two minute video on the new and improved inspiration tab that's in the YouTube studio. This is the one that everyone's been waiting about that got slow rolled out to certain creators. I just checked my YouTube studio. I now have access to it. And I wanted to show you exactly where it is so you can check your studio to find it. Also to give you my first impression, sort of touching it, seeing how it looks and feels and to let you know my initial take on it. But here's how you'll find it. Once you're in your channel dashboard, come into content and you'll notice next to videos to the left of that is this inspiration tab. You can now click on that and it will then serve you up using generative AI topic ideas that are relevant for your particular channel and your niche that YouTube thinks may have high interest for your viewers. So as you guys know, I'm in the YouTube growth space and I'm an educational channel. And here are the four ideas that YouTube is recommending. So 10 things I wish I knew before starting YouTube, recreate the most viewed video with a twist, the ultimate YouTube introvert toolkit and 90 day YouTube challenge. So these are all very relevant and within my wheelhouse of videos that I could potentially make. So I would say YouTube's pretty accurate in terms of knowing my niche and potential ideas I could talk about. Now, if you see these four and you're like, hey, I don't really wanna do any of these, but I do wanna use this brainstorming feature, you can here in this text box, type in anything that you want to potentially explore the idea of, and it'll then bring you into another screen where you can refine it down even further and then eventually get to a script, a title, and a thumbnail. But for the sake of demonstration, Let's just imagine for a moment, I want to dig into this top one, 10 things I wish I knew before starting YouTube. Once you click into one of these topic ideas, there's really three sections for you to explore. The first section is outline. The second section is titles. And the third section is thumbnails. And we'll just take a quick peek into each of these. So all three sections have a show more button you can click into that will pull you into a brand new page where you can then interact with these particular sections one by one. So we're in the outline section and here are the different parts of the outline that YouTube is suggesting we may use for this particular video. So the importance of consistency, mastering video optimization, all the way down to a final word of encouragement. Now with each of these sections, you can copy it to the clipboard. So if you want to quickly copy it and put it into another document, you can. If you're not particularly thrilled about that section, you can simply delete it. Or if you wanna provide YouTube feedback, whether as to if this section was helpful or maybe if there was an error or a glitch, you can do the something wrong option here. But what's interesting about this too, is I, as you click into each section, you can interact with each section separately and uniquely. So if we wanted to expand this particular section, we can write that out. And we're gonna go from three bullets, one sentence each to what looks like about six bullets and much more data to then digest and potentially use in our video. Alternatively, if you wanna inject a specific feeling or emotion into the section, so let's go down here, the power of community. Let's add in the feeling of FOMO, the fear of missing out and see if it can refine some of these bullets to incorporate that emotion so that when we're delivering on this section, we're really instilling upon the viewer the importance of community building as a way of not missing out on certain things. So here's an example of that, the potential of missing out on valuable feedback and insights if you don't actively engage with your community. So depending on how much depth you want and depending on what feeling you want to convey, you can certainly add those in section by section. Now, obviously you wouldn't wanna directly copy any of this information out and kind of read it back to the camera word for word. These are just rough ideas that you're gonna to wanna to put into your own language and your own tonality and deliver in your own way. All right, let's take a look at titles and we'll hit show more once again. And we get served up about six different title ideas. And you'll see that a lot of them are really generic in nature. This is a lot of what ChatGPT might serve us up, but really what we wanna do with all of our titles is to try and make them stand out a little bit more. And what we can do here is use the let's brainstorm text box to add in any additional flair, any additional curiosity or other emotions that we wanna convey with those titles. Now, if we're not really sure what to prompt it, you can look at down here where it says need more inspiration and you can click on any one of these and hit generate titles and then it'll use that prompt as a way of giving you other title ideas. You can also ask it to shorten these up to make them less lengthy 
And you can also add in emotions like leverage, fear, or avoiding mistakes. So the possibilities are literally endless. It just depends on how much you want to play with this thing. And then finally, as you scroll down to the bottom, there is a thumbnail section, which seems to be a little bit glitchy right now. For some reason, it doesn't load all six thumbnail ideas. And honestly, these aren't going to be things that we're just going to directly download and use for our thumbnails. I would say at best, this is really just to come up with different ideas of potential design elements that you can pull into your thumbnail. Uh, but the jury is still out, at least from my perspective, on the thumbnail portion of this new AI tool. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that if you are happy with some of the output that you're getting within one of these topic ideas, you can come up here to the top right and click on save. It'll then save that particular idea. And then if you want to come back, you can come into saved ideas and you'll see all of your saved ideas listed out right here. So all in, I think it's a really good start. I love the fact that Google is pulling in AI into the YouTube studio for creators to interact with. We've been using other third-party applications for so long, it's really nice to have it all in one stop. And it has the added advantage of really knowing what our channel is about to serve us relevant topics without us having to put in an additional prompt into something like ChatGPT to let it know what our channel is about. So let me know what you guys think. If you have access to this right now, I'd love for you to put a comment below. Let me know if you have access and if you're using it. And if you're finding any novel or unique ways to leverage this, or if you're seeing some of the glitches that I'm seeing here, either way, I'd love to hear from you. And I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys soon.